Hello, Northwood students and parents, and welcome to the 2021 Pride of the Path Awards Ceremony. Today, we'd like to recognize the following students for their outstanding character throughout the year. I'd like to introduce some of our very own Northwood teachers, Ms. Alberger, Ms. Comtois, Ms. Rodarmer, and Mr. Halep, who will share more about these students and congratulate them on demonstrating our core values, mutual respect, compassion, and integrity. Hello, Northwood, and congratulations to our Pride of the Pack Award recipients. Every year, Northwood teachers get flooded with letters of recommendation requests for colleges, scholarships, jobs, and everything else under the sun. And one thing that I stress to my students is the fact that on these letters, your teachers do not brag necessarily about your academic accomplishments. Nowhere on this letter of rec will your teacher write about this one time how you got an A on the anchor or how you received 100% in the class. Instead, in these letters of recommendations, your teachers talk about your character. They talk about all the times you showed compassion, all the times you showed integrity, and all the times you showed mutual respect. The reason why these are the characteristics that we talk about in your letters of recommendations, and as well as when we talk about you to fellow staff members or your parents, is because these are the characteristics you will be remembered for. Integrity, mutual respect, compassion. I fully expect that Northwood kids are gonna rule the world. You know, it's just something I believe in. I think all your teachers kind of hope that's true because of these three ideals that we all live by here. You know, you're born with two things. You're born with your integrity and your honesty. It's your job to keep them. It takes a lifetime to develop them, second to lose them. And if you understand about integrity, then you learn about the depth of mutual respect and compassion. Eventually I realized that acts of integrity are rarely grand gestures. That to show integrity is, is really the things we do in, in our small actions, in the day-to-day the -day decisions that we make. And as soon as I had that realization, I started noticing acts of integrity kind of all around me. And one as simple as last week. Uh, in one of my classes, there was a group project, and at the end of the class, after all the groups had given their presentations, a human hung back in class, and they said uh, that they needed to talk to me, and everyone kind of filtered out, and they let me know that you know, their life had been kind of hectic, and that they had done absolutely nothing in their group project, and that their group had done all the work without them, and that they'd apologized to their group, but they also wanted to make sure that I knew uh, that, that they hadn't done the work. And, and that right there is why I think uh, Northwood is something special because this kid could have said nothing and totally gotten away with it. And instead they came to me and told me what was going on, not because they were afraid that I would find out, not because they were afraid of some other consequence, but because they knew it was the right thing to do. And integrity is doing the right thing, even if it means admitting to having done something wrong. Understand, the, understand it for what it is. It's, it's a great vote of confidence by, by your teachers in you, you know, that you can take the, the values that we, that we all live by here. You can use them to your advantage. You can be physically fit in your PE classes and you can learn different languages and you can learn the scientific method in question. You can learn about our histories and our culture through English and science. And you can learn how to put them all together creatively through fine arts. So, you know, it's a, it's a wonderful thing to be alive. And uh, I hope that you guys continue to, to strive, to excel. And, uh, you know, like I said, you guys are gonna rule the world. <laughs> this means so much more. You are pulling it off. You are showing character and you are doing it with the integrity and kindness that every Timberwolf has. I have seen many of you rise to face this challenge, surmounting all the obstacles. We were asked to reinvent school. At no time in the history of human civilization has school looked anything remotely like what we have been doing for the past 12 months. It has never been this digitized, this depersonalized, this detached. It has been hard. It's been scary. 
And it certainly has been stressful. And yet you are pulling it off. The resilience and adaptability in the face of uncertainty that you have shown speaks much louder than any A you might have earned, any perfect test score, any five on an AP test. These are the characteristics that will bring you to new places as you leave Northwood. And these are the characteristics that will open up doors and opportunities for you. So no matter where you are, no matter what life brings you, remember to keep showing that integrity, mutual respect, and compassion in everything you do. Again, congratulations, Northwood. We are so very proud of you. Once again, congratulations to all of our Pride of the Pack Award recipients for their demonstration of Northwood's core values of mutual respect, compassion, and integrity. Here are the names of all of our amazing students who have exemplified what it truly means to be a T-Wolf.